It's I Can Do It Yourself, Evan here, and I've got a review for you today. It's the Craftsman Universal Ratcheting Set. So I don't know if you've been to Sears lately, but these have been out for a couple years, and I've actually had this for a year or so, and uh, I, I learned enough about these to give you a review on that. So that's it today. The review is the Craftsman Universal Set versus the Craftsman Professional Set. Okay, so first off, in the Universal Set, you get this uh, nice ratcheting wrench here, and then you get these universal pieces. So the difference with this universal set is that you're supposed to be able to use these with six-sided bolts, and as well as the 12-sided uh, or even eight-sided. So it's supposed to be universal, and that's the whole point. So as you can see, when I zoom into this here, that there's multiple teeth on these guys, and, uh, and that it should be able to fit any kind of wrench. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a very comprehensive test between, for one, the, the ratchet itself, and also the, um, also the universal sockets with a regular six-sided socket versus a bolt. And I've got a torque wrench in order to help me out with that. So the first thing is, is the uh, actual hand tool itself. And honestly, I love this hand tool. For one, it looks really nice, it's very slick, um, the, this is a plastic piece right here is versus to the metal piece, so that would be a negative. Um, but the button is very nice. In fact, I like the button better than I like the professional button. And I've used um, both of these for extensively um, many, many times. And I actually prefer this versus the professional one. And for one, it actually feels better in my hand. Uh, I think that the teardrop, this teardrop does not um, fit as well and it's likely to slip out of my hand, whereas this one is, it does not slip out of my hand and it has this nice little beveled edge here so if you ever want to put a pipe on it, uh, you can do that much easier than you can with the regular one. And in fact, I liked it so much, I ended up buying the smaller version, the quarter inch to use as well. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this on the vise and I'm gonna see what the difference is between these two wrenches. Okay, so I put the professional on the vise, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count uh, the ball bearings, how many ticks uh, that it has between an arc. And of course, they um, they have about this much play, so it's a few degrees play, but if I go to the 90 degrees here, this is at 90, and I'm gonna count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, until I get to 90 degrees. So that was 15 ticks, so I get to 90 degrees. Now I'm gonna do the same test with the universal ver universal in the vise, and let me count, I have it at about 90 degrees here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So that was 11. So this has uh, far few finer uh, ball bearing ticks in between your use of the hand tool, which can be a plus or a minus depending on how you're using this tool. So the, the difference, guys, is that you, you have a much larger play area between that you're using this. So if you're doing any kind of fine, um, fine issues, you're gonna want uh, less play. And in fact, say if you go to Matco and buy a really nice Matco, you can get up to 88 uh, teeth on, on a, a ratchet, which is quite a bit. However, I actually kind of like having less uh, because I'm able to get more power out of it. And that could be a problem when you come up to the universals, which is the next test that we're going to do, which is, am I going to be able to strip out one of these guys? So what I've done is I use this for inside house use only. I don't use it for automotive uh, because I'm not going to want to put a bunch of stink on, on one, of these, uh, one of these sockets because I'm thinking it's going to break a bolt. So I've never done this before. In fact, this is this is like on the video test, but and I might end up ruining one of these things or ruining my bolt. But I want to see um, how much torque I will be able to place on this bolt versus a regular six-sided uh, Craftsman Professional socket versus the Universal socket. So for this next test, I'm going to destroy some bolts. So. What I did is I actually tried some earlier bolts a minute ago, but the bolts are just way too weak. Uh, I'm not able to get any kind of torque down on even uh, an inch pound torque wrench. So what I've done is I found some big daddy real bolts that um, are 8.8s, so they're able to take much more torque. Okay, 
I'm ready to go with this test. And what I've got now is the Big Daddy uh, half inch torque wrench from Craftsman and I have set this bad guy at 70 foot pounds of torque. Um, and I've got the six sided on here with an adapter socket so I can actually use it. That is a very respectable amount of torque. Um, and obviously, I mean, I've done this so many times on, on automotive, so I know that the six sided is just fine, but just to prove to you, and I've got it, um, this and, and actually my, this is my uh, jack system that I got from Harbor Freight, uh, because I can't even put it in the vise because I'm, I, I rip it right off the vise um, if I do that on the on the bench top vise. So if I go to a click here, there we go. Well, that's a loud click. All right, that is 70 foot pounds of torque. And so now I'm going to switch this guy out for the universal. And all I'm trying to see here is. Um, Where's the camera? Where's the camera? There it is. Okay, all I'm trying to see here is is that there's no visible damage on the head of the nut. All right, so I got that guy in there. I'm going to repeat this test, and I'm going to see if this rounds this out. If it doesn't round this out, then I'm I'm convinced that this universal set's great um, and uh, and can handle torque. So here we go. Ready? Ooh, it did it. So it works. Okay, at 70 foot pounds of torque, and the head is just fine on there. And this test actually surprised me. I thought for sure that that universal would um, would round it out, and it has not. Um, the head looks okay. Let me pull it out. Here. that out of there and it looks okay it was already a little like that to begin with and uh, and so I I guess that this stuff works I this is not a result that I had expected uh, from the universal set and the teeth look just fine so hey I'm gonna start using this for automotive stuff so it looks great to me anyway thanks for watching and subscribe for some regular videos of do-it-yourself items and uh, reviews. So I will see you later. Bye.